Hi everybody, John the Revelator in chapter 12 of Revelation saw, and I'll start uh, just now in verse 5, and, he sh and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Now this was the first coming ascension of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was caught up to the throne of God after he died and he resurrected and then he appeared to the disciples for one last time and he said in like manner you saw me go up in like manner you will see me return and when he returns he will come back in the clouds to gather his church at the uh, gathering the court catching up the rapture and then he will return again with the host of heaven to set up his millennial kingdom for a thousand years of peace on the earth in which that time he will rule the world, all nations, with a rod of iron, and we will be there with him. That's what scripture says. And the two other references in Daniel chapter 12 to 1260 days, three and a half years, is when this woman fled into the wilderness and she was uh, kept from the dragon for three and a half years. I do believe. What is said there is future, and it is the great tribulation period to come. The last three and a half years, 42 months, 1260 days of great tribulation under the beast, when he becomes fully incarnate and powered by the dragon, Satan, Lucifer. Okay, so people have changed this scripture up. They've given a new meaning to the dragon. He's not what it says he is here, that it's Lucifer. They've also said that the man-child or the child being caught up or being birthed, travailing, travail, the woman travailed in birth and pain to be delivered, but then gave birth to this child is the church now. This is just erroneous teaching. It's And the fate of these people will be uh, Revelation 22, verse 18 and 19, I do believe. So there's a lot at stake here to believe. Come back to the sure foundation word of your of the testimony of Jesus Christ within your King James Bible and leave these other apostate fools alone and don't go there. Don't believe their heresies because I tell you, I will talk openly out against Discover Ministries. When I sit and I listen to his latest shenanigans, my blood boils. It boils so much so I get full of and I'll call it righteous anger. You might call it whatever you want, but I know. I know the surety and the foundation of the Word of God. And when I see people speaking and butchering it, completely rewriting it, re-evaluating it, and then re-positioning re it, reinterpreting what clearly Scripture says and is meant to be understood, not a book of confusion, but a book that's easy to understand, to be read, the King James of all books, you know, don't believe the marketing hype. Go and get yourself a message Bible because it's easier to read. My gosh, the world has been fooled. Christianity has been hoodwinked. It is deluded, completely deluded by uh, conformity to worldly, worldlyism. And it's just the, Satan's having a field day with the church, I tell you. And when apostate ministers come on to the scene and they spread this nonsense that we're to look at Revelation 12 now it's an astronomy astrology sign that's going to appear and that's all stepped in pagan mythology oh my gosh this word this action can only be described by one word second Thessalonians apostasia apostasy okay the great departure of the faith the falling away from the faith the sure foundation of the Word of God found in your King James authorized edition of the Bible. And I will scream, yell that till the last day that I take breath. That's my thoughts on this matter. Thanks for listening.